hello good evening and a big welcome to all of you in today's price action analysis video today is the july 13th 2022 and uh, we will be analyzing nifty today so we saw that nifty opened exactly at the r1 pivot so it opened below it and then it took resistance at the r1 pivot here you can see how uh, the first candle that was formed was a doji kind of a candle with a large body also so this candle was suggestive that nifty was not decided where it wanted to go really so these two levels become important at that point why because you can see that a lot of resistance was coming from the high here and you could also see that the candle had support on the bottom and so when this support was broken the price came and touched the cpr right away here so we could see a lot of volatility here in the opening itself and market was undecided which way to go and eventually decided that it had to or wanted to go to the bottom it wanted to go to the downside so you could see that the market actually was in a consolidation phase for a long time then this low was broken and after that low was broken it came and consolidated around the cpr here okay and so because of this type of price action whenever such a price action occurs you know that the price action is weak and this happened because I had yes, yes, said yesterday in yesterday's price action analysis video that this entire zone is going to be an important zone. If you want, you can go back to that video and watch it. The zone itself I had said was going to be an important zone and I also marked this particular level here. I told you to mark that zone there. We had seen a crash coming from there yesterday and so there was a supply zone there. Although the market had closed here and so the price did not crash any further after that. But you could clearly see that that area was I mean nifty was going to take pressure from that area and that is exactly what has happened here now if you go to the 15 minute time frame here you can see how a big red candle has been formed here and you could see how yesterday also we could see big strong red candles see all these candles here one two three four these are all strong red candles and that is exactly what has happened today nifty has come down with very strong candles so you can see that that supply zone was a strong supply zone yesterday and I had said in yesterday's price action analysis video that this entire zone will act as a pressure zone now. It will act as a supply zone. So that's why I had asked you to mark this particular line. Now Nifty did not exactly reach that line but I had said that the area between the R1 and the PDH is going to be an important zone tomorrow and that is exactly what has happened today. But of course that was not exactly what uh, you would be trading on uh, if you are particularly trading on supply demand zones because the major supply zone was up here this was an intraday supply zone it was a minor supply zone but still it was one so that area was always going to be important and so uh, after that price came down to the cpr here at the cpr it kind of made a base here and then you know price could have gone anywhere from here it could have gone up it could have come down also and the way it has come down uh, obviously now after the market we know that it has come down but there is a bright possibility that the CPR can hold and the price can go up okay and nifty particularly did not have a very wide CPR so the CPR support was not very strong today but it did not even have a very narrow CPR if you were to go it uh, measure it in terms of points then you can see that it was nearly 25 points so it was not a very narrow CPR we do see very very much narrow C narrow CPRs than these but this in spite of the fact that it was a an average cpr uh, the price could break it and whenever you see that price has broken the cpr in such kind of candles always avoid trading why because you can see that this candle has actually broken out of the cpr very with a very small margin here and then you can see this wick also so it's not a very strong breakout candle what do strong breakout candles look like they look like this here you can see this candle here this is a strong breakout candle it doesn't have any wick on the bottom but uh, this candle here is not a very strong breakout candle and then you can see how below this wick here below this wick this particular wick had been formed so now this was the important support area and so when this candle here had come down and it had formed this particular candle price had formed this kind of particular candle i had also tweeted that this candle also or nifty also even with this candle has not really closed convincingly outside of the cpr why because the level of support was this here right here and so that level as you can see here was not exactly conveniently or convincingly broken by this particular candle the price was still not giving a very 
negative signal at, at that point but obviously right from this point here after the price had started falling the market was looking bearish but you know a lot of times it can happen that price can start bouncing from here it can break CPR to the upside and then start going up again so that can also happen so then uh, because of such candles here it was hard to say which is the breakout candle today is this a breakout candle definitely not because it is higher than or the close is higher than this week so at best you can say that this is the breakout candle today but this if this is the breakout candle then entering here and keeping your SL up here was never a good idea because it would have been a very big SL right and then you could see that the price actually did fall further and then uh, it actually probably would have achieved a 1 is to 2 risk reward by the end but that is all good to see after market but when the live market is going on uh, you should always look for risk reward if you were to short this candle here then you would be shorting at this level and where would you keep your SL it should ideally your SL should be above here ideally above this particular candle high the wick that you can see on this candle so that will be your safest place for the SL now this big an SL I don't think any retail trader should take this is not a good price action pattern to trade on so that's why nifty in spite of the fact that it had a big fall today there was no real convincing entry point in nifty today because nifty had opened out inside the previous day's range you can see that pre pdh is here right so this was the previous day high here and had nifty opened somewhere here within the virgin cpr and formed this sort of a red candle then this red candle would have it would have been good to short this candle and then you could have kept your sl above the virgin cpr so if you were shorting a candle here and you kept kept your sl up here then that would have been a a good price action to take if you had seen a, a something like a red candle out here and then you the but then anyway that would also not have been a very good trade to take because your profit booking would have been immediate at the previous day high so anyway that was not the point here what I'm trying to explain here is that uh, had you seen a rejection from the virgin CPI that was an okay trade to take but a trade to take here within the previous day's range is not a very good trade to take because price can easily go up from here although it had these uh, this important zone here so anyway the market did look bearish at every move today with uh, at any given hour of the day the market just kept looking bearish it never really looked as if it would go to the upside from here but still there was no clear indication in nifty today and now looking at this sort of price action if you want to mark levels then which levels would we mark we would obviously mark the previous day high here which is an important level so what we will do is we will now bring down this level right down here and we will mark this level now and you can see now that this zone here is still intact it is still an important zone here so we just have to pull this level down a bit to match today's price action and you can see that from the 15 minute time frame that zone becomes very important now see how yesterday price had fallen from this zone downwards and again nifty takes resistance around that same zone and it is falling again so it might not be an important zone anymore I would like to mark it in a, a dotted line because it might not be an important uh, supply zone anymore but this line should be red it should continue to be red this price point here that is around 16140 should be a dotted line so we know that price has fallen twice from there and if you're trading only on particularly supply demand then it would be best for you to not take a short trade there if price were to go there again until the level of around 16160 is achieved so now we will delete the virgin cpr here since we already see candles inside it and uh, we have a virgin cpr from the 12th of july which we will extend forward and we don't see anything else on the 15 minute time frame as of now let's check on the daily time frame how nifty is doing see a very big red candle has been formed here in nifty and uh, you can see how the low of this particular green candle which was the 7th of july candle has been taken out and now it's important to see where nifty goes from here because we have an important i mean the important support of 16000 is broken today and the close is below the 16000 level again so we will have to see where the next support comes in at we can see this particular big green candle where we have the next important support at around the 15800 level okay so we, if we are looking at a downside move again then we would want to uh, we would it would be 
prudent to consider the 15800 as the next logical support so i think that's good enough as far as nifty goes do we have any other important levels to mark today um, we don't see any important levels to be marked other than these levels so what we will do is we will push ahead for bank nifty now okay this is bank nifty and we could see that bank nifty had again today showed strength now here this is the cpr so if this is the CPR and if the first candle forms this sort of a very strong bullish candle here, then it's a very good opportunity to go long on that candle. The problem here is that Nifty here was at an important supply zone. So going long in Bank Nifty in spite of the fact that there is a very strong bullish candle is a risk in itself. Because like today whenever Nifty takes resistance there at the supply zone, this particular bullish formation is not going to be of any importance. So yes, it is important in Bank Nifty, but I keep telling you to watch both Nifty Bank Nifty charts, right? That is exactly the reason why I keep saying that you should watch both charts. Now you can see how Bank Nifty has not really taken any resistance at any important location here. Neither has it touched R1 nor has it touched any supply zone nor has it touched the previous day high. Because the zone here that was important in Bank Nifty was up here. This was the zone that we had marked yesterday. So in this zone, Bank Nifty has really not gone at all. And yet you can see how Bank Nifty has touched resistance here and suddenly has a reversal. So you can see that there is no real reason why Bank Nifty should, should reverse because there is nothing historical in that. The only reason why Bank Nifty reversed was because Nifty was taking utmost pressure at this particular level from the R1. And that is the reason why I tell you to watch both Nifty and Bank Nifty. And you should always remember that if you are taking any kind of trade wherein you are looking to go long in a place where the other index is under pressure, you should not take the trade. That is if you are looking to trade in Bank Nifty, then you should always, always check if Nifty is taking any pressure. Or even if you are taking a trade in Nifty, you should always check if Bank Nifty is facing any particular resistance. Same on the downside also. Okay, now you can see how Bank Nifty actually opened with this sort of a big bullish candle. Then in such circumstances, the best thing to do here is to wait for the candle's low to be retested. If at this low you can see certain amount of bullishness, then you can go long and you can then take your profit at the swing high, which was right here. You can ignore this particular high because that was not a very big low that price had achieved. So this was not a very big swing low. So this could not, if this is not a swing low, then this cannot be a swing high, right? So you can ignore this and you can take profit right at the day high here. So it would have been a good trade had you traded here and with your SL somewhere here and your entry to be at the central pivot and then you could have taken your profit back here. But then the problem would have been, a uh, problem today was that you did not really see any sort of bullishness at this point. And when Bank Nifty broke out here, I had tweeted about this. That if bank, now that Bank Nifty has broken and given out a breakout candle, then even then breaking, I mean taking a short trade here was risky simply because you could see that Nifty at that time was taking support at the central pivot. And you can see how long Nifty formed this base within the central pivot. Now from here Nifty could have gone up easily, right? And then it could have gone up to the day's high also and then it could have probably tested this level also. But you know, if that would have happened, then your SL in the Bank Nifty was gone. If you had placed your SL here or here, which would have been the most logical SL, this would have been the most logical SL above the central pivot if you were shorting this level here. So if you're shorting this candle after this candle closed and where would you have taken your profit, then the ideal most place to take your profit would be at this particular place here, which was the 35.005 level, which was the demand zone, the prior demand zone, which was retested here. But then I had tweeted about this that this was not a very high probability trade to take had nifty been above any other support like any daily pivot or any other extended pivot like a weekly pivot i would have said that this would have been a very good a trade to take why because all these traders who got long here got getting excited that the cpr was broken right in the first candle itself were trapped here with their sls in these places here and whoever went long here keeping their sl here was a very big SL. So this big an SL will trigger a big price movement to the downside. So this is a typically a typical SL hunting pattern where you make a where big institutions would make a green candle here and then the price would come down crashing like this.
so the crash is because of a panic situation in the first candle itself after the first candles low was broken here but then again nifty had the support here so you could see that this was the 1020 am candle and at 1020 am you can see here nifty was clearly above the central pivot range and it was above the central pivot also so it was not just at the above the bottom central it was also above the central pivot so from here it was very easy for nifty to bounce back up but anyway because of the selling and the overall bearishness in the market the market did crash but you know if you were to trade like this then it would not be trading it would be gambling so if you are not going to follow rules then that is not going to make you a successful trader so it's best you follow rules whenever you are trying to take a reversal kind of a trade you should ensure that there is no immediate resistance above and if you are taking a breakout you should also check whether the other index has any important support below it especially if there is a CPR in the other index then you should definitely definitely not go into a breakout trade there why because breakouts most often fail and very often there are false breakouts also so it was very easy for bank nifty to take a reversal from here and even though uh, you can see that there is a heavy option shorting in any either direction that is you can see that there is an oi buildup in other direction you cannot really be trusting that kind of oi buildup or those uh, indications because you have to see that on the chart also okay so don't just go on blindly trading just understand that there are rules to this uh, game and you should play by the rules and so this opportunity here was lost just because nifty was above the cpr and i have seen cpr acting as a very strong or the, even the central pivot acting as a very strong support even on narrow cpr days so i never take chances with cpr okay and when was the next opportunity here after this sort of huge consolidation it is usually seen that a consolidation is followed by a breakout so whenever a breakout occurs after a consolidation you can see that you can probably consider that that breakout can be genuine so this was one good trading opportunity if you're trading on a particular supply demand formula then your sl would be up here and your entry would be down here and your obvious profit booking would be the next pivot here the next daily pivot and you can see that with the bearishness you could have easily achieved that target but then you know if you find the market crashing so much usually the market going down from here is not seen usually so you will and especially on wednesdays just prior to the expiry days you will usually not see a trending day but it was trending and today and you could see how the price action was and it came down with such huge candles because the price had taken out the SLs down up here and were they were big SLs. Somebody who entered long here had huge SLs and that's why the price took the, took the selling today and hence the crash. So now looking at this sort of price action, should we go ahead and see where we can mark levels? We should be deleting this level here and the important level obviously is going to be the level of the previous day high that is today's high so we'll mark that area as a strong line here because it has not occurred close to any prior supply zone so what we will do is we'll mark it as a strong line and we will see on the 15 minute time frame if there is any other important level to be marked now we can see that this level has been broken and it uh, you can see here that it has been broken after a pretty long consolidation so we will not keep that area active anymore because that area has now been convincingly broken had just one single candlestick come and broken it then we would have kept that area on uh, because uh, or that line there because the demand zone would later on when price approaches it from the bottom act as a resistance but i don't think it'll act as a resistance anymore because you can see that the price had actually consolidated right from 10 30 up to 12 30 so about two hours of consolidation before that level was broken so that breakout was successful today and you should always see a consolidation like this prior to a breakout only then breakouts will be successful and uh, so that's why we don't have any important level per se you can if you want mark a zone like this here but i don't think that's really necessary because bank nifty has actually fallen because of nifty today and so you can see here how nifty has taken a fall so that's why we've marked a dotted line in nifty so we've marked a zone in nifty but we don't mark to uh, need to mark that zone in bank nifty and on the daily time frame if you want to see then uh, even bank nifty has formed a very big red candle taking out the 
low of this strong green candle bank nifty's next logical resistance is at this border here which is the upper border of the gap which is the low of the 7th july candle at around 34 555 so that is the place where bank nifty will face another support and uh, do we have any other level to mark we don't have any virgin cpr to mark from today we will extend the virgin cpr coming from 7th of july ahead here and we will see how price opens tomorrow we do have a average size cpr an average size cpr tomorrow which is usually which is about if you want to make, want to see in points then it is around 140 points tomorrow for tomorrow and we do not see any other levels to be marked whatever important levels we need to be have marked on the charts are already marked here and uh, price see even after falling so much price has taken a good support at the previous day low that is today's low so this low is also going to be an important area so don't just go ahead and start shorting tomorrow just ensure that you see a uh, uh, the break of the pdl with a strong candlestick but tomorrow we have a wide enough cpr so if the first candlestick were to go down and end like this or form within the previous day's range and close like this then even here this would not be a good area to short tomorrow because this area is acting as a strong support here and you must ensure that nifty also breaks out and even then we have a very strong cpr tomorrow so usually on strong cpr days we will not see an a trending day to either side and also we will not see back to back trending days or we will very rarely see back to back trending days in indices so it's best you keep your bias towards the reversal candlestick patterns tomorrow or the reversal trades tomorrow so i think guys this is explanation enough as of today's price action i hope you found this explanation useful and i hope you are enjoying these eod videos if you are please let me know in the comment section it boosts my confidence also to keep making these videos and to know that you are liking them is a very good feeling thank you for your support guys if you have liked this video please also hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified every time i post a new video see you tomorrow bye bye